Good morning! So we are working on September 4th. Happy Labor Day to everyone. I'm doing a seashell beach class reading, which is interesting. I, this is my first time doing it. So the first one that I'm drawn towards, I don't know why, but I saw a turtle and then I went towards a snail. And now I'm seeing like a belly button. So uh, I am clairvoyant. And if you want to learn how to be more clairvoyant or how to be clairvoyant, or perhaps how to um, open up your mindset just a little bit more to the intuition, I am doing a three-day workshop. It's called Signs. And that's going to be the 12th, 13th, and 14th from 6.15 until 8.15. So that's six hours altogether for only $100 Canadian. Uh, you can pay in payments if you need to. Uh, it is over Zoom. And uh, once I get your first payment or all of your payment, then uh, we're going to be, uh, I'll send you the Zoom link. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I'm also feeling like there's a shark here too. Do you guys got to see a sh shark? Shark teeth? Um, and, and then I'm also seeing a trail. So all of those things to me represent, it's a little bit dark here too. Uh, that represents, um, okay, so like peace in your environment is a turtle. Um, so again, the symbolism, we're also going to be working on symbolism in this workshop as well. If you want to check out that video through YouTube or TikTok, you can see that as well. Um, otherwise, read about it through my site, okay? So, uh, so the symbolism of a turtle, you can also like look up yourself, but when we start to um, learn about different symbols or what something means, that can be very helpful. So we can get information when we see that or we even see it in an image. I feel like explaining that. So I'll see something within something else and then it will either be a symbol for what I need to know or what somebody else needs to know or it's something, um, again, just that can be supportive for you, okay? Uh, somebody needed to hear this or understand this, I feel. So, uh, aside from the turtle, we also had a snail, and to me, representing slowing down. Again, what do you think of a, in, in relation to a snail? Is it a slow and steady wins the race? Is it you need to move faster? Just feel free to write in the comments. Uh, we also talked a little bit about a belly here, right? A belly button. Uh, to me, I think of a, of a child tickling them. But again, uh, the belly button could be an insecurity as well. So more childlike today. Also, um, this need to focus a little bit more on your strength, not your weaknesses. Okay, we also saw... Um, a shark but we also saw a little trail here so a trail might be following a little bit of um, a new path today uh, we're definitely coming up into a new moon a new moon um, that's going to be really strong on the 13th and uh, so that's still nine days away but you're kind of seeing that full moon energy shift and then uh, we're still like kind of letting go and healing, but then we're also thinking about things that we want to start manifesting and it's going to be such a powerful new moon. So if you're not underneath my membership group, it's $11.11. .11. If you're coming into the science workshop, I recommend coming in as a beginner because the dream workshop is in there. That'll be really, really helpful for you guys to understand more of what I'm talking about. Just that alone is helpful. Um, and also there is a strong moon connection at this time. So if you are connected to, to moon energy, really start learning more about that. Uh, you can watch a video underneath my playlist through YouTube, um, rituals and practices. Actually there's two, there's, uh, the new moon, um, ritual that I would recommend watching there. And then also underneath moon cycles, I believe you can listen to my video talking about the moon cycles in general. Okay, so very wordy today. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing is a, a potato, but it seems like it has slime. Um, so potatoes to me represent our nutrition, but the fact that there's slime on it is saying just like more clean eating, more uh, cleanliness with your food. Uh, I know this isn't something I usually stress over, but lately I've been really hyper-focused on uh, what's in our food. That's been a big topic of conversation for me with friends and family, just because I'm learning so much about this. 
and of course working with natural products and just like learning in general um, and it's washing your food like just getting the gross stuff off of it like pesticides etc there might even be like a wash that you can buy that to clean off like your fruits and vegetables stuff like that but really make sure you're doing a good job with that because we don't realize uh, how many toxins we're actually putting in our body um, and then we have the shark guys the shark teeth so my five minute shell talk um it makes me think of marcel the marcel the shell that used to um it was a little cartoon that used to dance and and sing anyway so again funny childlike energy the shark is still talking about fears as well so i don't know what was coming up for you with your full moon but it was quite intense um, so it might have been a heavy week for you. You can check out the weekly reading for this week because today's Monday um, and you might find that that's helpful. They're just kind of quick videos so they're easy to watch. Um, again, you can see that through my TikTok and my YouTube. Uh, but these fears that are coming up here are really just talking about a nervous tension. It's more just like what's weighing you down more than anything. And it's like something maybe you're thinking about, little thoughts and fears. Just It's kind of just letting that go. Sharks can also, to me, represent, I go towards like the Jaws movie, things like that. Um, just like a little bit more fantasy as well. My guided meditations are for beginners um, on the 11th of every month. So you can... Once you become a member in there, you can go back, you can watch all of the guided meditations. Uh, if you are pro or VIP, we do Theta Healing on the 15th of every month. That can be really helpful as well. Um, okay, this, I'm hearing the message Scientology that keeps coming up a lot whenever, but because that's my sign and symbol for someone being unique or to be unique, to be different and to embrace that. So whenever we need to hear that, that's what I hear. Okay, so through clear audience. So if you want to learn about that, you know where to find me now. So I'm getting like a spin top here and a whirlpool and also the tilt a world. <laughs> So a spin top is really talking about games, having more fun. So um, maybe it's like a board game. Maybe it's just like dancing, laughing with your friends, that sort of thing. If you can't do that today, definitely make plans to do that. You know who your fun friends are, right? I'm also feeling like putting my ear in the shell and listening to the ocean. Only I'm getting... Um, the telephone game. Make sure that you are communicating very clearly because we are in Mercury Retrograde. You can watch my Mercury Retrograde video. I already did uh, underneath YouTube. Uh, you just click videos. You'll be able to see it once you scroll through there. Um, really just talking about the stages of life that we're in right now. Everybody's at a different stage, but that communication for everyone as a whole and technology, things are definitely going to be acting up. Okay, so we were talking about a whirlpool. That's really talking about new starts, new beginnings. What are you manifesting? What are you bringing into your life? We already talked about this. I don't know why, but now I'm feeling seeing a butthole. Um, so making sure, again, we were talking about diet. Um, and I'm hearing no pain, no game. And I'm kind of getting that that's not true. No pain, no game isn't true. You know, we can do things gently, easily. We don't need to like rip every toxin out of our body. Are you an extremist that way, right? I can definitely be, oh, I'm going on this detox. And then just, it's uncomfortable sometimes, right? So can we do these things in gentle ways? Again, non-harsh chemicals, that sort of thing. Um, the tilt a world here, we were talking about games, having fun with your friends, um, like laughter. I'm getting just a little bit more peace actually. So like, again, don't do things that are going to make you throw up that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. I was listening to somebody else's video and they were recently talking about like last week's energy being a bit more like overindulging with like, again, chemicals, um, smoking weed drinking, things like that, just more to escape. So be mindful of that if you are one of those people who panic and then you go towards like something to make yourself feel better, okay? So it's like allowing your stomach, your mind to really connect, that's important. Beautiful piece of beach, George. I have to go, guys. Um, my dog is eating something he should not be eating. Um, this is really talking about getting clarity on a situation great time for a reading again come into my program and then this i see an ear so it's really just again clear
clear audience might be strong today. Listen in a bit more to that intuition and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.